your first time using infinite banking. Oh, your first time with anything is pretty cool, yeah? Well, the proof is in the pudding. I could just say that, as I have so, so many times, is really a simple, easy process to put the infinite banking tax-free cash growth warehouse strategy into practice. But the proof is in the doing. You thought I was going to say pudding, didn't you? Okay, so I'm going to show you the most complicated method of taking a policy leveraged loan for the financing of something. It's ridiculously easy. And at the same time, I'm going to demonstrate exactly how infinite banking doubles the power of your money so you can use it in two places at the same time. Aloha, I'm Stan Cox, principal broker and strategist with SC Finance Strategies and Insurance Consultants. I'm also the author of the books on the Tax-Free Cash Growth Warehouse Strategy, and I'm the managing director of the Hawaii Financial Free Thinkers Academy, a nonprofit financial literacy education organization. For the past several years, I have focused on and specialized in the infinite banking concept and in developing the Tax-Free Cash Growth Warehouse Finance Strategy. So if you find this to be helpful, please like this video and subscribe to this channel. Also, please post your questions and comments here. Now, my first time using infinite banking was really for Amanda and I to test it out. You know, it sounds too easy and too good to be true. So we wanted to test it out to see what the reality of it was like and get a feel for it. The first step is to decide on something to finance. Our first trial run was to finance some furniture. Not a huge purchase, but something we could finance and really test out how this whole strategy works. So we went shopping for furniture. We found what we wanted to buy, got the out the door price, put it on hold and left. Then when I called the insurance company, which is really the easiest method of initiating a policy loan, and requested my first cash value leverage loan. And, and when you call in to take a loan, you simply tell the service rep, you want to take a policy loan, how much, and how you want the money, either by check in the mail or a direct deposit. For our first loan, I asked for a check to be mailed. It was in our mailbox in six days. So the companies I work with provide you with a personal webpage when you buy a whole life policy. <clears throat> Only you have access to that page. There you will find all the information about your policy, how much cash value you have in it, what your maximum loan availability is, what your current loan balance is if you have outstanding loans, and when the policy was issued, and everything else about your policy. You can make premium deposits, make loan payments, and request a loan from that page as well. <clears throat> That's the most complicated method of requesting a policy loan. So let me show you just exactly how complicated it is. It is so simple and easy. It's elementary, my dear Watson. So here we go. As soon as your policy is issued, you can sign up for your personal policy portal webpage. Once that's established and you have some cash and value in your account, you can leverage it with a policy loan. Now, I'm going to share my screen here and, and walk you through uh, the whole process step by step. Okay, so here is the home page uh, of uh, my personal page, my personal web portal to demonstrate the first steps. Okay, first you log into your portal page and then you'll, you'll see this uh, page here. And you will see the basic overview of your account, which is what this page is. Now, don't freak out when you see that the face amount of your policy is like a third of what it actually is. With a properly designed infinite banking policy, the whole life portion, the base, should be about 
one third or less of the total face value that included all the writers. Now, this basic info only shows the whole life portion's face value. In my case, the total face value of this policy is a little over 150,000, but it shows only 50,000 as the face value. The writers are listed lower down the page. Right now, we're not going to go through all of that. We're just gonna, we're interested in taking a policy loan. So you can see the more option on the right hand side here. <clears throat> when you click on that, these additional options show as a drop down menu to request a loan. Click on that option. See that right here. Now this info page will appear. Boom. There you go. Uh, read in the info and click on the acknowledge box and then click the start application button at the bottom. Now you'll have this loan details page. Okay. Click on the circles to fill in. Let me see here. Where to go? Is it there? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Click on the circles to fill in the amount you're requesting of the loan. How you want the money delivered to you, either direct deposit or mail. And how you prefer to be contacted, email or phone. Ever since our first policy loan, I've always used the direct deposit option. Usually it only takes four to five days for the money to be deposited in my checking account. And that, you know, usually the, the extra day is because of a weekend or a holiday or something. But so now here's the next page. You'll see you fill in the amount of the loan that you want and your email or phone number. And then for direct deposit, the next thing is this pop up. And that tells you how that uh, direct deposit works. EFT, like electronic funds transfer. Um, as you, and then it asks you to acknowledge that you've read it. Click the acknowledge, I acknowledge box, then the close button at the bottom. And then the next page, this is where you'll fill in your bank account information where you want the money deposited. Fill in that carefully. Double check the routing and account numbers before you move forward. Make sure they're right. Okay, then you get this next page, and it seems a little redundant as the company already has all this info, but this loan application is all computerized, automated, so you need to fill this in. Okay, now let's see, you go to, you'll get this next window, and when that's done, you click on the submit request button uh, at the bottom. And you're done. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Okay, so I'm going to stop the share here. And uh, close that window. Okay. And that's all there is to it. Now, I start, my, I start checking my bank account balance in three days after the I submit the loan request. If the money isn't there yet, I check again the next day. Again, if it's not there, I check again the next day. As I said, the money usually in, in your account in only four or five days. If there's a holiday or a weekend in that time period, it may take a day or so more to get into your bank account or mailbox if you choose that method. When your funds have been deposited in your bank account, you're good to go buy whatever you, you're using the money for. Now, did you catch where and how your money is being used in two places at the same time? I'll point it out in just a minute. In my case, our first loan, we used for furniture. Next, we bought a computer. Next, we financed a vacation. There's been several things that we've used it for. Most recently, we bought a brand new car. Now, you may have noticed that nowhere in the loan process was any kind of repayment agreement to sign. And that's because there isn't one. You are now master of your financial world. You decide when you will make a payment on the leverage loan and 
how much? And you can do that also through your portal page. The question comes up frequently. How do I pay myself interest on my loans? The reason why that question comes up is because of the incorrect use of the sta statement that so many of the promoters and practitioners of infinite banking throw around. You don't pay yourself interest on the loan leverage, on the policy leverage loans that you take. I'm sorry. It's just not a thing. It's not how it works. Your loan is funded by the insurance company. The insurance company charges simple interest on the loans you take. And you pay that interest to the insurance company. The, the idea of paying yourself interest really is referring to the paid up additions writer that you most likely are depositing uh, to your account. But that is a writer that is built into your policy during the design stage. It is possible to add paid up additions after your policy is issued, but it's, it's not attached to your policy loans. And it is more involved than just deciding to put more money into your account. It is true that dividends that the insurance company pays to your account is partly derived from interest payments on policy loans, but not directly connected to your policy loan interest. Now, and this is going to demonstrate how your money goes to work in two places at the same time, because it's the insurance company that funds your loans. Your money stays in your account and continues to earn and grow from the dividend interest, even while you have a balance on your loans. For example, I didn't make a single payment on my first policy loan for a full year. And then I only paid the interest on it to the insurance company. Still, my cash value grew by 7.2% that year. And that money became available for me to leverage. So you see, I'm using my money as collateral for a loan. Therefore, I'm able to use my money to buy something. In this case, it was furniture. And at the same time, my money is earning compounding interest tax-free and growing for me two places at the same time. Again, how much and how often you make payments to your loan balance is entirely up to you. And no matter what it is that you want to finance with infinite banking, taking a policy leverage loan is exactly the same. Decide what you want to finance initiate a policy leverage loan, get your money a few days later, go buy what it is that you're financing. Alternatively, throw a little sweep in there and buy the thing you want to finance with a credit card. Then get your policy leverage loan and pay off the credit card so you don't have to pay any interest on the credit, credit loan. When you're ready to make a leverage loan payment, of however much you want. Go to your portal page, make your payment, or you can call the insurance company and instruct them to draft the payment from your bank account. It's really so simple. I never even thought of making a video like this until my friend Robert suggested that it would be helpful to show step by step. So if this has been helpful to you, please like this video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. You have questions, we have answers. For a more complete explanation of the tax-free cash growth warehouse strategy, you can watch our free 60-minute webinar. The link is in the description box below. The link to buy my books on amazon.com is also below. If you'd like to book a free phone consultation with me, the link to my Calendly page is also below. If you'd like to apply to become a client of ours, the link to the application is also below. We're here to help. We look forward to helping you. Aloha and mahalo for watching.